Hello everyone and welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout Nevada. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as I fight against two death claws that are really, really tricky to kill. I think this is probably my tenth attempt off camera, and I finally managed to land a critical to the eyes. I've been shooting the eyes since forever, and finally, on the first try actually, but not before I got hit like a lot, as you can tell from there. 26 damage. Um, that 9 damage was on the other death claw. So we have two blind death claws, and uh, that's a good thing, unlike in later games in which it, it isn't. Uh, because, yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna stand here, take a few pot shots, and uh, and that's that, I guess. Because now we can do that, and uh, it's a good thing I uh, decided to go with this, I'm gonna show you. Decided to go with that, because I'm pretty sure that saved me. I'm pretty sure that saved me. Now this guy... If you go burst, he usually takes about 60 damage, uh, or 70 damage. Uh, I tried that as well a couple of times, just a couple of times, and uh, it, it worked, but of course it's not enough. This guy has health for days. I think I dealt uh, 180 damage, and he was still severely wounded, so really, really bad. Really, really hard enemy. But there it is, that's how you beat this guy, and he, I, bear in mind I have a, a, a Metal Armor Mark II. And, uh, yeah, so... They're not gonna fix their limbs anytime soon, by the way. That's just... That That was that. Okay. Okay, now you... Now this guy over here has a lot less health. Was almost dead already from last episode. Took nine damage, and there it is. Okay. Four. I'll tell you what. These guys... 2,000 experience. No wonder. No wonder. My god. And there's an exit over there and all that. There's a bunch of things... Uh, but more importantly, uh, I have uh, Death Claw over there, and that might be a bit of a problem. Because it's the Mother Death Claw, and uh, I... Let's see what we can pull off, however. Let's get... Let's get our sniper ready, uh, because I'm... Uh, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to go for a, a, a headshot or something. Not a headshot, but um, something that blinds her or something. I wonder if I can be here. I can. Fantastic. Let's go for it. Headshot. Eyes. Lovely. What was that? Serious wound is inflicted. All the little guys come. It's fine. That is not fine, though. I can de deal with the little guys, not with the big one. Two turns, though, of course. Come on, give me something here. <laughs> Four damage. I just, I honestly just want to see what, what is in that thing. Uh, in that, uh... In that skeleton. Oh my god, five damage? Yeah... Yeah, I... Suppose I could try and break a leg or something. It's only one damage, that's... That's just... Ridiculous. That sounded better. <laughs> Was it for no damage? What kind of death law is this? Honestly, the Mother Death Claw in Fallout 1, which is the first Death Claw you find, just takes damage like normal, nothing like, this is ridiculous, this is like, what do you need against this thing? A laser weapon? Very well, most likely. But of course, ooh, that was a nice, that is a nice one, because that, uh, she gets stuck. Uh, not, not, apparently she doesn't. Oh, I bu Well, might as well give it a shot. Anyway, um, yeah, let's continue exploring. We're gonna figure out a way to kill her somehow. Maybe we're gonna get a little bit of healing. Uh, last episode we got a little bit as well of, uh, loot, which is great. Um, so yeah, we're in the wind- Did I say we're in the winds of war now? We're in the ancient vault or something? So, ooh, that is an exit? Curious. Curious here indeed. I'm not really sure how I want to do this though. So there's no point in going over there. And I have no traps with me. No, I do have grenades, but that's not what I need. I have these things, I suppose I could uh I wonder if I have any food so I could, you know, read while well yeah, well, that'd be a nice thing. Let's let's see. So do I have food? I don't have food. Well, let's read some books then. First aid? You learn new ways to heal injury. That would be probably to... Oh, well, actually, let's let's count. Let's, it's more fun that way. Oh, five points of first aid. That's really nice. I'll go with that. 
and then uh, Dean's Electronics is for repair. We got 60 at the moment, and we're gonna get probably about four. And that goes up to four, yes. And then the next up, or no, up by four, I should say. Uh, the next up is uh, Outdoorsman, which is currently at 33. And we can bring that up to, I would say 38, but maybe 39 if I'm lucky. 39, look at that, being lucky. Hmm, love it. Uh, and uh, a saboteur's case, this is for traps. Now I do have a little bit of traps over here, 63, which means it's probably gonna go up to 67. With any luck up to 68, but I don't think so. Uh, 66, yeah, that was, it's, yeah, the, the higher you are, the, the less, the less effective these things are. Uh, you know, that's just how it goes with drugs. Oh wait, the, those are not drugs, those are misc. Uh, speaking of misc, let's go ahead and apply you right here, because... Oh yeah, because. Oh yeah, because. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to do what you think I'm about to do. Of course I am. I mean, I want to see what that is. Don't you want to see what that is? I want to see what that is. So, um, uh, uh, magic? Okay, I think I managed something. Headshots were not doing it, and uh, apparently this mother is a man, or I say a man, but it's a him, I should say, um, because there it is. Uh, but this mother death claw over here uh, is now has crippled limbs, which I hope is enough to not allow him to come my way. Maybe? I'm. Lo this is looking good. It's looking good. I like the good. Oh, give me the good. Oh, actually, before I do that, let me reload a little bit there so I can do this because it does less damage, actually, so it's kind of sucky. But uh, we're dealing with the little death claw over here. If the other ones don't come, then I'm good to go. The idea here is not to fight these little guys, actually. I want to um, outrun them and exit. Uh, because I know that after I do that, they they sort of uh, go back. Let's see. Oh, uh, no, that's not a blind. That was no damage. I like it. And that's a kill. Okay. How much for that? 300. That's fair. These guys are definitely... Stronger than the random death claws we found out, out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, let's see. So now, basically... <clears throat> excuse me. It's the same thing. I'll go for a headshot there. See what happens. Nothing happens. Sometimes, you never know. A good critical on the head is capable of... Of, of, um, of killing them with one shot. It's rare. Not really sure how that works. I think it's a table of critical shots and all that. Oh, come on. At least they gave me the nice sound, which I like, instead of the brah. That sort of weird sounds, like it, you shoot through the sp to, to the air or something. Okay, so what do we have? We got a wounded, and we got a almost dead. Let's go with almost dead here. Yeah. So the idea here is to outrun this little guy, because I will be taking damage. Oh, this is weird. Awkward might be the best word. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, yeah. So all I need to do is spend one turn running and one turn... Sh Oof. There we go! 600 experience for me. Good. So yeah. Very difficult. I really don't understand the... What, how, even? Because it's like... it does. If you're lucky... If you're lucky... You can... Um, against the, the Mother Death Claw... You get to do like 70 damage. Which is ridiculous, uh, ridiculously high, of course. But uh, she also has seems to she also seems to have extreme armor class. Let's see, six. I need to get closer. See, there, there it is, fifty-four. So sometimes it bypasses the armor, but it's just very rare. Let's see what I can do to the eyes, even when it it's close. Ninety-three is pretty awesome. Okay, and this is all, of course, because of a broken leg, mind you. And we're talking another 54. Yeah, so she can't run because, of course, she can't go very far. Be or he can't, uh, because, because, of course, broken leg. So I like that. Should come my way, but oh, this might be pushing it a little bit. Let's see. No. <laughs> yeah, if they have broken limbs, they basically don't fight. Uh, it's up to you to do the calculations there. That was 2,000 experience just from killing that, and uh, 
there is... You have gone up a level. That is not the line that Fallout 2 or Fallout 1 has. Uh, but yeah, it's, I don't know. If, oh, there it is. Okay, that's it's fine. No perks. I'm good with that. Let's uh, break the eggs. Because that's what we're here for. What? Wait a minute. What the heck? They don't die with a single shot? Hmm. Apparently not. Well, two shots it is. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at this. Interesting that they stay in combat with me. I hope there's nobody else around. Oh, that one went down with a single shot. Not, oh, that was a critical, though. Uh, the blow knocks him to the ground, the poor egg. Okay. Then, of course, leveled up. Gained a little bit of health. Four health. That's nice. And this doesn't do anything. A floor grating. Can I put a rope over there? Because he doesn't... Mm, yeah. So, let's see what this uh, murder was worth. It was worth mm, very little. Another assault rifle. Yeah. Well, it was worth a level up and a bunch of experience. Definitely worth it. I liked it. But I was hoping for a power arm or something like that. <laughs> Not really. Actually, I was hoping for, like, a plasma rifle. Because, yeah. I could see the game giving me the tools to kill the enemy that was preventing me from getting the tools to kill the enemy. Let's go back to free parking because th apparently that's where we start. Is that where we start in Mono Mono Monopoly or whatever the thing is? That's not. That's like the other side, right? I don't know. Anyway, well, all I know is that if you land there, you get all the money. Because that's how I play and that's how you should play. Hi. Uh, let's trade. I got things. And you have things as well, don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, maybe. I don't know if I gave you more money before for that. Or, or for things. Not for that, obviously. Uh, do I even have things to sell? Well, I have grenades. Do you like grenades? Do you like knives? I like knives. I mean, I like the money that they give me, though. Uh, let's take that. Let's take that money. See what else you have. We got the shot. Oh, well, yeah, we got the shotgun for sure. Uh, nothing else. Good. Good, good, good. Unless I want these, which I kind of don't. But I'm also not going to sell him the plasma grenade or that grenade or that knife. Hmm. Well, maybe I am going to sell him the, the grenade. This. Nope. Too expensive. Really? How expensive is that? Hmm. My calculations are incorrect. Yeah. Just generally incorrect. Okay. Uh, can I take these? Are these expensive enough to... Well, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I suppose that's okay. It's just... It doesn't weigh anything, and it's worth stuff, so... Yeah. Go with it. There we go. Good stuff. Now, who sent me? It was you who sent me there. Hmm. Well, I guess... I guess that's that. Um, do you barter? Yeah. He has the money. That's right. Okay. So, do I have... I do have things for you. Uh, not too many things, but I have some things. I guess I should have sold my things over here. Uh, do I have ammo? I do. Not too much ammo. Again. I have drugs. And I got a lot of misks. Uh, clothing synthesizer and some other stuff. Nothing important here, I would say. At least not that I can tell. And that is good. See you later. Yeah, I suppose. Maybe. I mean, I haven't talked to these guys back here. Uh, hello. Mm, well, hello. Uh, tell me, how is it out there in the wasteland? It is harsh in the wasteland. We are forced to travel on the pre-war highways because it's faster and more comfortable that to walk through the desert. But the raiders know about this. That's why when we are approaching gas stations and small settlements, we are always on our watch. So between which cities do you trade? I trade between New Reno and Las Vegas. And here in the winds of war, sorry, in the wind of war, we have a temporary stop. Uh, what settlements have you seen in your travels? This is pretty active trading route. That's why between Las Vegas and New Reno, there has been established a very good trade. You can even meet locals' population on that way. I am so sorry. I am so sorry, fair viewer. 
I am so sorry about all any all all of this. I just it's yeah. Um, the translation, I mean. Uh, so I wanted to ask you something about this city. Wind of War. It's a military settlement. These are people who consider themselves residents of Paramount Wastes, blood rulers of this region and everyone else is a cow for milking, which they take whatever they want. Seriously. S seriously. Um, so what are you doing here then? Why don't you leave? Why would he leave? He said just nice things about it, I think. Thought? Anyway. They are ale bloodthirsty. Okay. On the west wing of their station, there is a doctor, merchant, and a medic. It's their people. They are very useful, but they charge high prices for their service. We, of course, need a mechanic most of all. It can be hard without him, although he is increasingly busy with his other rotor friend in the garage. The rotor friend? What is this? I don't know myself, but you can hear noises from the garage sometimes. Sound of a running engine. They say he is making a plane. Heh. <laughs> if it is true, then it will be a... It will be a... No, oh, it will be major news for our region. Making a plane. Well, you should have news for the bikes that are going around, let alone for the plane. Um, so, so where are you heading? For nowhere. We will stay here for a couple of days to rest. Then we'll head out in Vegas. That sounds like a song. Then we'll head out in Vegas to stock on merchandise. Right. Uh, well, that's the winds of war. Let's back up a little because, of course, we are in a dialogue tree. So backing up is absolutely a thing that a person would say. Actually, it is. I'm, I'm, I'm being harsh on the game on that one. I don't want anything from you any uh, right now. We'll see you later. Whatever you want, you need to discuss it with our boss. Whatever I want. Your boss sounds like a lovely person. The caravaneer is curiously examining... Oh, yeah, the the, the one that... Pff, right. Uh, actually, we could check. I'm not going to do it, but for your sake... For your sake, I'm going to gamble. Uh, and I'm going to try and get that little ball and see what it, what it is. Because I'm pretty sure it's gamble that we're uh, required to have. So, hello, sir. Uh, what is that stone? Could I have it? I don't know. I'll guess. Here's the money. Let's do whatever... What? Oh, there it is. Simple as pie. A piece of polished stone with the symbols of the state of Nevada. Judging by the pins on the back, the symbol must be fixed somewhere. It must. It must be fixed. Well, there it is. I, I'm not going to use have it, but that, that's what that is. Hello. What are you looking for? One uh, great wanderer? Oh, you're, you're selling things, aren't you? Have you seen any bikers pass through here? Bikers? I've heard about them, but I have not seen them personally. If you believe the rumors about them, they would be really out of place here. I don't think the local military would be too friendly towards marauders like them either. The marauders? Well, from what I've heard, the bikers have looted most of their gear and guns from military bases. Sounds like a smart decision to me. The problem is that the local people here really don't approve of that. In their mind, all the property of military bases belong to them as their birthright. They're, because that's how the military works, and I'm sure that would, you know, country that has disappeared 67 years ago, for sure, yes. Their ancestors came from these bases after all. Oh yeah, that's true, your, I, I get the gist of what you're going for. Your ancestors came from there, well, I guess, maybe he's not part of this group, he probably is. Uh, I see. Uh, actually, I see that you're familiar with the history of the local people. Where did you learn about it? Well, you hear rumors from people, and together they paint a picture. Never mind. Sure, I get uh, yeah, oh, sure. Uh, so why are you here? I'm just traveling around the wasteland and need a place to sleep. Nothing more. Well, well, well. I say, out of nowhere. Interesting, you rarely hear about people traveling around the wasteland for no reason. No, you hear about that a lot. Especially you, Mr. Uh, Vinny. Especially you. Ah, uh, ha, huh. true. I do have my reasons. What are you yourself? I what, sorry? What? What are you yourself doing in a place like this? I, well, my interest in this place is only temporary. I'm just passing through. My goal is located somewhere far away from here. I don't even know where. Well then, in that case, you really seem like a kindred soul. I'm sure you and I do some business together. Sorry, could do some business together. Like what? Earn my trust and I will tell you. First, I need to ask you some questions. How would you describe this place? Lousy. The worst. Can I just, I mean, I, I'm giving him this sort of, weird voice and it's annoying me <laughs> and I don't like him because of the voice 
<laughs> so I'm just, I don't know. I'm going to go with a, yeah. It's a lousy dump with lousy residents, including people who aren't from here. I wouldn't stay here a minute longer than I needed to. Time for a question you might find strange. Because the other one, obviously, you didn't. St stealing from a thief. Is that a fair act? Yes. Can I say yes? Can I say... I will say yes. What, like... That's such a reduct... Reduct... A reductive question. Because it answer it really answers nothing. You can say, if you say no, you can still consider some situations where stealing from a thief is considered a fair act. It's just you're an answering to this qu question on principle. The opposite also may apply. If you say yes... You may not think that it is on principle, but maybe referring... To, well, I, I personally wouldn't do that, but still, you may be referring to a specific situation where it may be a fair act. Generally speaking, you, I don't know, he's not even saying that. He's just, is that a fair act? It's just like a... I don't... It's fine. Uh, wait a minute, are we talking about the military base? Wait a minute, I like the big, the big answer over here. In that case, the soldiers of the Wind of War offer their patronage and protection in exchange for resources. Both sides gain from it. It's not stealing. Let's go with that. All right, then. You seem to be someone with just the right qualities. Well, you knew that already, didn't you? I'm interested in obtaining something. If you help me get it, I'll pay you 500 bucks. That's a tempting offer. What do you need? I need a list of regular radio frequencies used by the military patrols of this settlement. This information should be available in a computer near you, uh, near the radio operators in their headquarters. I am not able to get to their computer uh, myself. This is where you come in. Oh, yeah, so I'll do it, but I want a thousand bucks. Not a dollar less. You can raise the price all you want. I have no more money to offer anyway. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Very well. So, here's my idea of the plan. You need to somehow get yourself into the room with the computer in the headquarters. That is normally not very difficult. The radio operators are always busy with their estimates. <laughs> their estimates. It's not their analyses or operations or... No, no, it's the estimates. And because of this, they never get distracted. They should turn in... What? What? That should, in turn... Should... That... Sh that... It that should in turn make the room with the computer empty and unsupervised. Unsuper the problem is how to access the information without raising any suspicion or giving yourself away. This is where your skills and your wit will come in handy. Even though I already said something to that extent before about where you come in. But anyway, I'll, I'll repeat that. Yeah, I'll be back when it's done. Good. Make sure you don't get caught. If anything happens, I was never here and you don't know me. I am just a wanderer who needed a place to sleep, even though I'm not sleeping. Understood? Understood. Do I know your name, by the way? A traveler that seems to fit in very well. Spy. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Spy. Don't mess around, you know what I mean. No, I don't I don't I don't know anything about because I didn't read what you said. Um so let's just save there and let's have a chat with these people. Find our boss. You see a beaten up man, he's hurt, he's groaning, but no one is helping him for some reason. Well, I'll don't move. I'll help you. I'm a doctor. He pulls your hand away. What can a doctor do? You don't bother. You're just making everything worse. I, well, enjoy your suffering, I guess. Did he not like my doctoring skills? Just from what the heck? What? Why? Huh? What? Damn! I feel like shit. He says. Well, you would. Not letting people help you. Let me see where that can. You know. Let's go for forty. Let's see what I can do here. I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. I. I. I really don't think we are gonna get like a. Um. Uh, get any like side quests or something like that. It's probably just 300 experience. Oh, that's so much better. Thanks for the help. Oh, look at that. Big surprise. 350 experience. Uh, a couple of soldiers from the garrison. Who else? Wait a minute, I asked him what happened? Yeah, who did this to you? Uh, I bet you provoked them, didn't you? Uh, well, how? I mean, why would they do that? You didn't give them a reason to do that, right? I am a good person, but you just... Uh, well, I am, because I helped you. But you still don't get it. They don't need a reason. They'll just come up with it if uh, with one if they ever need to. Uh, why, are you, why are they like this, so fierce? 
Well, I didn't say they were fierce. I said they were mean, but uh, I suppose he said they were mean. Anyway, because of disorder in the community, they are also ridiculously egotistical. In their mind, it is the one who has the better gun and the thicker armor who is the hero of the wasteland. You get me? That's why they behave like masters in their parts. Ah, so why did they do this to you? They wanted my pistol and some spare change I had. I shouldn't even have come here. Yes, I'm not sure where my accent is going, I'm sorry. Someone told the military about me, and soon Jamie came with his gang. Jamie? Hmm. He requested I hand over the gun. I refused, and look what happened to me. What happened to your gun? Well, it's a desert eagle with a leather grip and, a, and an improved barrel. Any ant mutant is le dead from a single shot. Great gun. So who's Jamie, and where can I find him? He's one of the privates. He, hang he always hangs around a checkpoint. Young and brassy bastard. Uh, is this forbidden to carry a gun in these parts? Is this forbidden? Well, inside the, their garrison it is forbidden to carry weapons. They can and will shoot you for this. But since this is the free parking area, no such rules around apply here. Jimmy doesn't give a shit about that, though. Nope, he gives a shot, apparently. No, I, well, he just they just beat you, so... Yeah. Um, thanks. I'll see what I can do. Will I? Will I, actually? I don't think I will, because I will just reload just now. Let's look at uh, over here in Wind of War. And we didn't get a quest, so that might just be one of those quests that uh, is just hanging out. And if we want to get the the Desert Eagle with the leather grip... Why would you want a leather grip on a Desert Eagle, though? You don't want to give on a, gri on a grip, right? If you do, like, it lowers accuracy. Ooh, we got a, a code over here. My ferrets. Let's see. Let's... Uh, Save over here, and uh, let's use three so I can do that. The safe has a mechanical lock consisting of five tumblers, each opened with its own number. You can try and guess the code, but that will take some time. Will it? Well, if it's like the other one, it won't. Zero. You set the digit, you hear <laughs> an ordinary click. Leave the lock alone, whatever that means. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time for the day, so I can do this off camera. Um, for right now, though, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Fallout Nevada. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.